What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving headfirst into the highly anticipated Dragon Age The Veilguard. Bioware has been awfully quiet since, well, let's just say the last Dragon Age outing wasn't exactly a critical darling. But fear not, fellow RPG nerds, because The Veilguard promises a grand return to form. Or does it? Buckle up, because we're about to unravel this epic tapestry thread by thread without a single spoiler in sight. Thetis, the land of magic, mythical creatures, and questionable fashion choices, is back in all its glory. The Veil Guard throws you right into the thick of things you play as Rook, a brand new character thank the maker, no more recycled inquisitors, and let me tell you, the character creation is deeper than a blight troll's belly button. From stoic elves to sarcastic dwarves, you can craft your dream hero or villain, depending on your alignment, but enough about pretty faces. What about the world itself? Is Thetis as vast and explorable as ever? Have the environments received a visual upgrade worthy of the next generation? Okay, maybe not that deep still, there's plenty to customize, and trust me, you'll want to look good facing down the horrors that lurk in the shadows. Speaking of shadows, that brings us to the narrative in the Veil Guard is shrouded in mystery, as Bioware loves to do. There are whispers of a new threat, a tear in the veil that could unleash all sorts of nasty things, but hey, that's just hearsay, right? Wrong things get real very quickly, and Rook finds himself thrust into the heart of a conspiracy that could shake the very foundations of Thetis. Who are the key players in this unfolding drama? Are there any returning characters from previous Dragon Age titles? Don't worry, I won't spoil any surprises, but let's just say the writing is sharp. The dialogue is witty, the characters are well-developed, even the grumpy ones, and there are moments of genuine humor that'll have you chuckling like a Mabari after a belly rub, but is the story as epic and impactful as past Dragon Age entries? Does it manage to capture the same level of player agency and choice? Find out after the break. Now, let's talk about the good stuff combat. The Veilguard ditches the tactical approach of previous games in favor of a more action-oriented system. Think flashy combos, devastating spells, and enough loot explosions to make a dwarf blush. It's a blast, pure and simple. You can specialize in different weapon types, unleash powerful magic abilities, and even control the battlefield with tactical maneuvers does the combat feel satisfying and impactful. Does it offer enough depth and customization for different playstyles? Okay, so maybe my tactical brilliance involves a healthy dose of cheese sometimes, but hey, victory is victory, right? The combat is definitely a highlight, but what about the RPG elements that made Dragon Age so special? Fear not, fellow role players. Dragon Age The Veil Guard hasn't forgotten its roots. You'll still encounter tough decisions that can shape the world around you. Will you side with the Templars or the Mages? Will you unleash chaos or restore order? Are the side quests engaging and rewarding? Do the companions feel like real people with their own stories and motivations? Let's face it, sometimes the companions can be as entertaining as the main quest. They're a mix of quirky, tragic, and downright hilarious, and their banter can steal the show. The Veil Guard is a solid RPG experience. It's not without its flaws. Some may find the pacing uneven, the combat repetitive, or the story lacking the epic scope of previous Dragon Age titles. Ultimately, Dragon Age The Veil Guard is a step in the right direction for the series. It delivers satisfying combat, engaging characters, and a rich world to explore. While it may not reach the heights of previous Dragon Age games, it's still a worthy addition to the franchise. So what do you think? Is Dragon Age The Veil Guard a must-play for RPG fans? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for more gaming goodness, check out my review of Shadows of the Damned Hella Remastered. It's a wild ride, I promise.